Hey my people, uh, this is another good afternoon and uh, I'm going to discuss about uh, the candlesticks patterns and the types of candlesticks that will enable you make a good decision when trying to buy, sell a stock. So uh, let me know where you're watching from on the comment section so we can interact in a nice way. So uh, this is a channel through different stock patterns. Displaying stock charts, it pays one to be very careful and very attentive. Let us dive in into the world of candlesticks patterns and they are essentially in technical analysis. Each pattern tells a story about a market sentiment and market movement. That way, it helps you when you are trying to buy or sell you know where you are going to enter and where you are going to exceed. That's the, that's the main objective of the candlesticks. So uh, we are going to discuss some kinds of candlesticks, displaying stock charts and the patterns. It needs somebody to be very much attentive and eager to learn. So uh, candlesticks patterns, they are essentially in technical analysis. Each pattern tells a story about market sentiments. All right. So hope you are eager to understand how these candlesticks works. Let us start with the most basic and widely used candlesticks, the Dodge. It has a small body with equal or almost equal upper and lower shadows. The Dodge represents the indecision between buyers and sellers. I'm going to pin up uh, the chart of a doji so you can be able to see where the market opens and where the market closes so that you can be able to see what I'm trying to explain. It's like a cross. The, the, the buyers and the sellers, they are equal. They reached an equilibrium. Nobody wins. All of them, they are a win-win situation. So, it is a decision where, as a buyer, you can't go in to buy anything when the candlestick shows you they are in the indecision. So you keep on watching and then you see a different candlestick so that you can be able to translate what it means when the market is on a downtrend or a market is on an upper trend, right? So when you see a doge, it's not necessarily uh, a single doge alone and doesn't provide a strong signal. But when combining with the other indicators, it can suggest a potential reversal or a trend continuation. The hammer and the hanging man. I will paint a picture of a hanging man right there, and you can be able to see and describe how it looks like. So well, <laughs> the shape of the candlestick resembles a hammer and the hanging man. As the name suggests, it looks like a figure hanging from it's sweet. So now let us move to a Polish engulfing and a Pearish engulfing patterns. A Polish engulfing pattern candle occurs when a small bearish candle is followed by a larger Polish candle. It suggests a reversal in a town trend. Pearish engulfing candle appears after an uptrend indicating a potential reversal to downside. So when you see that kind of a part, uh, kind of a uh, candle, tells you now the market is going to reverse. It's, it's a big one candle engulfing the smaller ones. Even if it's green, it shows you it's going to reverse to. Uh, it was on a downtrend, and now the green candle, big one, is called engulfing. It engulfs to the smaller ones. So the, the larger candle engulfs the smaller ones. That's what it means in golfing. It's like shading off. So, and then it takes turns off in a different direction. The larger candlesticks the body completely engulfs the body of this proceeding candle, symbolizing a shift in the market sentiment. So another candlestick we are going to talk about is that it's called uh, uh, morning star and evening star patterns. The morning star occurs after a downtrend with a large bearish candle followed by a smaller one, the smaller one. That means the market is in a reversal. 
it is a chest and potential trend reversal to the upside and the and the evening star appears after an uptrend indicating a potential reversal to the downside so the morning star and the evening star both relate to the celestial bodies these patterns were named to reflect the facial the visual similarity with the stars and the changing of day to night like when the market is going up it is going to the skies and when the market is going down it's going to the downside to the night i'm going to pin again those photos you can be able to see what i'm trying to see, explain and then those things when they happen it you have to see where the the whole uh, trend is facing you can see the whole trend is just is, it is not just one one candlestick you are going to see and then make a decision what has been trending and then you see and now you 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 see a probability whether it's going to be on the upside or the downside that's why you make clear decision candlesticks patterns it gives you an edge in analyzing the market sentiments remember no signal pattern guarantees a specific outcome so as a beginner don't do it on those candlesticks alone so you have to combine with all the market sentiments uh, you include the indicators like the MACD, the RSI, the moving average, the VWAP. So when you incorporate those things together in a, on, a, on a, a trend, you will be able to see exactly where you are going to go in. So when you make a decision, don't dwell on the candlestick alone. Please make sure you see another indicators. And the news remember the news moves the market so before you jump in to go and buy please read the calendar there's a calendar for the news so you know what is happening in the market today before i jump in so when you read the news and then you come to the your brokerage account and see the market how it's moving and then you see the trends and then you analyze with the indicators Plus the candlestick, the candlestick enables you to go jump in now and buy. So that's basically the meaning of the candlesticks. So remember, no signal pattern guarantees a specific outcome. Always use them in the conjunction with other technical indicators and your trading strategy. Remember when we started before, I told you to make sure your goals and your strategy. So what is your strategy? You incorporate your strategy plus the indicators, plus the candlesticks, and the news before you jump in to go and buy a stock. And then remember, I told you, when you jump in to buy a stock, what kind of a stock are you going to buy? So I told you in the previous videos about how you, ma you make a selection of a stock. So remember, please start recognizing these patterns and make informed trading decisions. That's the goal. If you follow those kind of uh, candlesticks, all the uh, indicators, market news, and your strategy, you are going to excel in uh, trading. You will be a professional trader. And uh, on top of all that, you have to be persistent, patience, and focused. Remember, patience pays. So, this is a marathon. This is your journey. Thank you. And have a wonderful day. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can interact more on these videos. So, I'm going to continue giving out new videos as step by step, step by step, so that when we start trading each every single day, then you know what I'm talking about. You are not going to be left behind. So, good people, see you next time.